So generally with this muscle, I tend not to use too much of the Fusion by Daniel Collins Moisturizing Serum. I like a bit of a grip with it. So I use a couple of drops and then when I finish the massage, I apply a few more. So just finding the muscle, if you need to turn the head slightly, you can. You can even sort of go like this or you can slightly tilt it that way and you'll see or feel it here. It's quite an easy one to find. And we're gonna start at the bottom of the muscle and you're going to pinch into it. Now, the important thing is, it's not to pull the skin outwards. If we pull the skin outwards, we're really affecting this delicate skin. What we want to do is we want to really go down into the muscle to think about releasing the tension. So just finding the muscle, however way you want to. You might want to move like this, you might want to move like that, like that. And then we're gonna to start to go into it. So we're moving up in a pinching action all the way up. Breathing deeply as you do this. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed. Releasing the fascia, releasing the muscle pinching down into that muscle, letting go of tension. And it might feel quite tender as you do this. If it does, that's very normal. Just take our thumbs here. We are going to glide upwards and lift off. So gliding up and lifting off really breathing deeply as you do this now you don't want to drag the skin here that's why it's really important to have a little bit of your fusion by daniel collins moisturizing serum or if you haven't got that some other oil moisturizer is fine although you'll find the moisturizer just sinks in to that top layer of skin quite quickly and doesn't give you that glide you need for the full few minutes but anything you've got in the house at the moment is fine to use Lovely. And we're also here just focusing on releasing tension. So one of the big things to do to define your jawline is to release the stress and tension in that area. When we hold stress and tension, the muscles become really tight and rigid. And tight, rigid muscles then often cause bloating in this area, often cause sagging in the muscles, means that the flow of energy or prana, as we call it in yoga, or chi, as we call it in Chinese medicine, is not flowing properly. It's also affecting the circulation. So all of it means that this area looks saggier than it should. So releasing tension is so important. So let's just take this a little bit further now, releasing that tension. You can bring the chin parallel to the floor as you do this part. And your sort of rule of thumb is about one minute per technique. So sometimes I might be showing you them a little bit quicker or a little bit slower. But with this one, we have got our top finger coming above the jawbone and our middle finger coming below the jawline, almost like little scissors massaging up to our earlobes. Try and breathe deeply here, in through the nose and out through your nose. Really, really helps this area. And then two fingers, you're going to massage in little circular actions, really focusing on releasing that tension, boosting that blood circulation right up to the bone there and again and again wonderful and then just taking the knuckles of the fingers and we're going to use those either side of the jawbone now just to glide upwards Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose as you go through these techniques. Add a little bit more of your moisturizer or your oil or the moisturizing serum now. If you need a little bit more glide for this deeper technique, chin parallel to the floor, ground your feet down, relax your shoulders as much as you can in this position and bring your hands down so they are your massages that's your tip number two to do the facial massage good okay and then come back holding there breathe let's count to ten together Good. 
So really working with lifting and toning everything from the cheeks down to the bottom part of the neck here. Release down, let's do one more time. Hold, keep those lip corners lifting up, keep tucking the lips around the teeth and then come slowly down and we'll finish with one of my favourite techniques, a little bit of tapping over the cheek area, under the eyes, all the way over the forehead. Okay, let's get going with our head massage. So you're going to take your hands and you're going to start to move them through your hair, nice and gently working through. This is so good for helping with the blood flow in the head. So it's helping your hair to grow even better, even healthier but you're also stimulating loads of lovely acupressure points here. So it's helping to really calm your mind. Plus you are having a natural lift for your face. As you lift up like this, you're encouraging all the muscles to lift as well. So, so many benefits, wellness benefits, aesthetic benefits, and healthy hair benefits as well. The next one, you take your fingers as though you're washing your hair and you massage into your scalp. It's such a relaxing massage and be quite intuitive with it. Try and take some deep breaths whilst you do it, inhaling and exhaling. Really lovely one to do. Then you're going to do behind the back of your neck. I'm going to turn around to show you this one. This is going to release a lot of tension through that occipital bone just at the back of the head, but it's also going to encourage healthy hair from the scalp. So I'm going to turn right round for this one. We're going to take our thumbs and we're going to put them here and we're going to massage in little circular actions, moving outwards. And then taking that again, little circular actions, moving outwards. And again. And then you are all done with that one. Okay, next, just ground your feet back onto the floor. Just relax your shoulders and you're just going to pummel your skull. Nice and gently moving downwards. And again pummeling your skull, releasing tension, encouraging that healthy hair growth. Come all the way down the back as well. Then you're just going to take your two fingers and you're just going to do little circular actions all the way along the hairline. So the, this again is helping to stimulate lots of lovely acupressure points which help to reduce stress. Very good at times that you might be feeling not quite yourself, or you feel like a headache might be coming on, but also again, just stimulating those hair follicles for really healthy 